Hey Earth Signs, welcome to your monthly messages for October 2020. Welcome, welcome, happy to have you here. If you are new, hi, welcome. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're returning, hi, welcome back. Thanks for your support. All of my information is in the description box below, including all of the decks that I am using today and my contact information so you can email me to book your own reading, follow me on social media, check out my website, all the things. So um, if you haven't already watched general messages for October, um, we do have two full moons in the month of October, one at the beginning, one at the end. <laughs> so um, we are book ending October with full moons. Yay. First one is in Aries on the first or second, depending on where you are in the world. And um, the second one's on Halloween. So a blue moon, full moon on Halloween. Lucky us. What else would you expect in 2020, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yay. First full moon is in Aries. The new moon, of course, is in Libra. And the full moon um, at the end of the month is in Taurus. So there you go. Um, I talk more about it in the general. Mercury is going retrograde. Yay. In um, mid-month. So the 14th through November 3rd, I believe. So that's a big important date for those of us in the U.S. And of course, a week before and a week after is the shadow period. But um, usually not as intense as the middle three weeks. Mercury retrograde is typically... Um, because we have it the three times usually in a year three to four times this is the last one for 2020 so that's good news but on the other side um it does affect our communication so triple check your emails your text messages if you're going to put somebody on blast make sure that uh that's not who the message is going to <laughs> always be careful and uh, let's see, retrogrades really are just good for all the reads. Review, reevaluate, um, redo, release, that kind of stuff. All the reads. Mars is in retrograde. Saturn went direct on uh, September 29th. So that's good. If you've been feeling stuck at work and Capricorns, it's your rolling planet. Um, expect all of that delay to go to the wayside. And Neptune's still in retrograde in Pisces, <laughs> causing you to reevaluate your spirituality. Pluto's going direct on October 4th, so that's a planet of transformation and, uh, and change. So it's been there since April. Yeah, definitely been feeling that. So things might settle down a little bit after the fourth. So let's see what's going on. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, earth signs, and cross -watchers. Hello, welcome. If um, hopefully something in here resonates for you. It is a general reading though, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. As always, if the story fits but the rules are reversed, go for it. Like if I say you and it's like, oh, that's more them. Or if I say them and you're like, oh, that's me. Go with it. If the story fits, do it. Check out your other placements. So if this is your sun sign, check your moon rising and Venus. Might give you additional pieces to the puzzle or resonate more for you. All right. I do try to keep it PG-13 on the channel, but every so often words fly. So sorry in advance. Headphones. <laughs> Did pretty well with water science, so maybe I'm okay. I don't know. I love October, as you can see. I have all of my stuff, my ghost lights. <laughs> I love this time of year. Expect it to be throughout the month of October that I'm going to have my decor. I'm using um, the Wizards Tarot, Tarot de la Nuit. I have a vampire deck, a Halloween deck, spell casting, and Heal Yourself, which is a little gothic. Just expect that to continue through the month of October. 
I think most people love this time of year anyway, so roll with it. I don't know how much my tablecloth you can see, but uh, it's Halloween-y as well. Reminds me of um, Edgar Allan Poe. It's got some ravens and skulls. And it's glittery because, of course, those of you who know me, I like things that are sparkly. My earrings are skulls. It just is. <laughs> Go with it. One more shuffle and we'll be ready to go. So let's get the main spread going in here. Overall energy, a little bit of a storyline and where we're heading. Four of wands, not bad. Beautiful. That's a really interesting depiction. Hmm. Interesting. Four of wands um, can be the marriage card, can be the 1111, um, like, twin flame kind of stuff, divine soulmate, ultimate union, whatever you want to call it, um, wedding celebrations. Yeah, that's that energy. Ooh, the sun, mm, five of swords, king of cups in reverse, the emperor in reverse. Well, that escalated quickly. So let's see what's going on. Um, the sun, legit the happiest card in the deck. Yay. And heading towards a five of swords. So you're, you're victorious, but at what cost? What is it going to cost you to be victorious, to win the, the fight? Like, look, you might've won, but did you? King of cups in reverse. Yay. Might've cost you a relationship. Might have caused you to be a bit, um, especially if it was with a water sign, like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, could have caused you to be a bit unfeeling or overly emotional. And the Emperor in reverse, yeah, you're um, really thrown for a loop here. No, I'll show you the cards. Sorry, forgot. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm like, yay. Four of Wands, the Sun, and then right here in the middle, Five of Swords, like WTF. So you can see he won. He First of all, he looks worse for the wear. It looks a little shady to me. Um, yeah, it, it cost you. Not good, not good. King of Cups in reverse. And the emperor in reverse. All right, guys, what's going on here? Four of Wands is the overall energy. So this could have to do with a, a long-term committed relationship. So marriage or just a long-term um, relationship. You're probably living together at least. Maybe you've been in and out of each other's lives kind of off and on. Uh, okay, yep. So, Page of Pentacles. Well, hello, Earth Signs. Uh, Page of Pentacles is also the ultimate student, a very good study. So you've learned something from this. That was the purpose of this relationship, was to learn something. And only you know what that was. The emperor in reverse again. <laughs> uh huh. So all the kings combined and we take the shadow sides when he's in reverse. Um, so just not feeling like you're in control, not grounded, very much thrown for a loop, disorganized, um, controlling, that kind of energy. Maybe you learned, uh, maybe that was the other person or maybe you learned how not to be that way. Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're getting out of it. The Fool in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's nothing new. Um, and you're not taking a leap of faith here. This is something that's been a long time coming. This is not a surprise. And the Four of Wands with the in reverse this time. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's the end of something 
where you thought you were happy or that you were moving towards happiness. Mm. Temperance could be with the Sag. Balanced energy. Maybe this is something that's like a blessing in disguise. That could be. Because with the sun, I think of Leo and strength. Um, I also think of Jupiter with temperance with Sag. So it could be it's actually a good thing. Because Jupiter is the planet of luck and abundance and um, expansive energy. Nine of Wands, further fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. So all kinds of fire energy over here with the sun. Um, something that is very much inspiring you to take some action. The Empress in reverse. So we have the Emperor and the Empress. Major relationship. Very much possible that it's twin flame, especially with the Four of Wands here twice. So um, not being nurtured in your uh, relationship, um, not feeling like this, this relationship has taken you as far as it can, if that makes sense. You're not continuing to grow. You're both turned upside down on your heads. It's just not, it's not working and it's not good. And it's probably a little bit toxic for you. The five of swords in reverse. So there you can kind of see that like defensive backstabbing kind of energy. So putting it in reverse is a good thing because um, then she can drop that, that ice pick and, um, and let her defenses down in order to be happy. All right, five of swords upright here in the middle. Cooler signs, whoa. Hanged man in reverse. Some see this as the sign of Pisces. So you could, some of you are definitely leaving a Pisces. Um, so with the hanged man in reverse, um, you're kind of untethering yourself. The hanged man is about taking um, a look from, taking a pause and looking at things from a different point of view, a different perspective. So coming out of that um, kind of hanged mentality and just letting yourself free, untying yourself and uh, taking some action. <laughs> for better or for worse. Ew, okay. Yeah, all right. So Four of Pentacles, that's about um, saving, getting your resources together so that you can make this move, so that you can untie yourself from whatever's going on. So in reverse, yeah. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful card. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in reverse. So what's going on? Um, you're not, this is not making you happy. You're, you're not thrilled, even though um, you won, so to speak. Did you really? Did you really? Um, kind of like you won the battle, but not the war to be determined. The world in reverse. Yeah, you're not done fighting just yet. It's not over. It's not over. There might be one more, one more battle coming up that you still have to fight. Let's see what it is. King of Wands. Fire signs again. Um, very passionate, very much in control. Um, creative and inspiring. A good leader and a boss. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So definitely save your money. Um, be careful with your money. You could be a boss and um, or the breadwinner and uh, you're afraid of, the Nine of Pentacles is usually like the independent person card and somebody who takes care of themselves and has more than enough money to do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it. So 
you might be afraid of um, somebody basically taking you for all you're worth. Be very, very careful because that is, with the Five of Swords here, that is a very good possibility. So just protect yourself, um, protect your money, protect um, your assets. <laughs> and you can shorten that word if you would like. King of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, overall, this energy is, if I have to use my sword, I will to cut anything out that no longer serves me. So um, kind of like it's putting you on edge, it's putting you on defense, whatever's going on. Um, and if you need to, to cut this out, do it. It's also the sword of truth. So knowing, getting connected to the divine and listening to your intuition. If something's shoulder taps, if something's tapping you on the shoulder and saying, um, you should probably go ahead and get a lawyer or go ahead and file something to protect your assets, do it. Nine of Wands, yep, taking a last stand. This is the wounded warrior. Could also be victim mentality, whether it's you or the other person, but just, um, definitely ready to fight ready to fight for what is rightfully yours okay viewer discretion is advised this card is not super gory but it's not pretty <laughs> so the three of swords in reverse that's good right that's good see how she like legit ripped her own heart out yeah so <laughs> i always try to let people know um it, it's actually really beautiful in, in a really grotesque way, I know, but it's actually super beautiful. I know, I, I'm weird, I'm witchy, I know. Speaking of which, I am doing a mm, squirrel. I am doing a Facebook Live series throughout the month of October about witchy things. So uh, feel free to join me over there. I have this series ready to go. So I will post them one week at a time so that it doesn't confuse people. Uh, but I think that they'll generally be on Wednesdays anyway. All right, so um, the good news is that maybe, okay, let me back up. You're probably feeling a little numb from all of this, but the good news is you're not gonna be heartbroken over it. Whatever comes, it's like, yeah, I saw this coming. I knew that this was coming. Um, it was only a matter of time. No, it doesn't feel great. No, I'm not happy. I've been sticking it out for far too long because I'm an earth sign and that's what I do. I love you guys, but yeah, you do. <laughs> kind of loyal to a fault. Um, and you tend to kind of get your, your ass handed to you, quite frankly. So um, the good news is even though, even if you are feeling numb, you're not feeling pain. Emperor here in reverse. So like I said earlier, um, just not, not grounded, not focused, not really all the good stuff. Hmm, chariot, Cancer energy. See the black and white horse? That represents duality, choices. Things aren't always black and white. Sorry, earth signs, I know, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but things are not always as simple as black and white. But once you make a choice, you tend to stick with it. So evaluating your choices, weighing, because she's like this, weighing your choices, your options, what is um, gonna work for you and what isn't. Ooh. Okay. Six of swords in reverse, so you're feeling pretty stuck. Even though the chariot's here and it's a major life move, um, you might be resisting a little bit. Six of swords is usually um, moving on. So you're probably not gonna do that until you know for sure which way you wanna go. Net of swords, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius fastest moving night in the deck. So once you do decide which way you're going to go, it's, it's just going to boom like that. Things are going to equal out. They are going to be fair and balanced. So no need to worry. Everything's going to be okay. 
All right, let's see what you need to heal. What do you need to, oh wait, hold on. Let's see what's blocking you first. Halloween Oracle. What is blocking the earth signs? of light illumination yep you're gonna have to connect to your intuition you're there are things that you're not seeing that um, that need to be seen there's there's stuff that you need to know but you can only know by connecting to your intuition and then you have the skull of stars infinite possibilities so maybe you feel like there aren't um, like you don't have choices right now Maybe you feel like um, you've been doing this for, I'm just really picking up on a feeling that you've been doing this the same way for so long, or you've been stuck for so long that it's like you don't even see a way out. You don't even know what you have available to you. All right, now what can you heal? What healing is available to you? Alchemy. Manifesting. This reminds me of the temperance card. So bringing things together and manifesting what it is that you want to do. That feels pretty good. Discover your life purpose. So it could have something to do with music here with the fiddle or violin. It's at an angle that I can't really tell. So, um, oh yeah, and healing. <laughs> uh, yeah, healing. So it could have something to do with that. It could just be listening to your own inner music, the music of your soul. What do you need to do in order to bring about that healing so that you can get unstuck and move on? Is it forgiveness? a look from the spell casting oracle what kind of manifesting rituals can you do this month that's what it really is all about right that's what spell casting is is a manifesting ritual and you can if you're feeling so inclined if you are very much connected to that side of yourself that spiritual side you can look up different ways of um, manifesting these things Lighting a, a candle is doing spell work. Burning a piece of paper is doing spell work. <laughs> Setting intentions is doing spell work, believe it or not. Well-being. So take a look, and this is spiritual and physical to me. So take a look and see, are you nourishing your body with good stuff or are you stress eating? Are you just, um, or are you not eating enough? Somebody out there is not eating enough. Um, sometimes when we're anxious, um, we do tend to neglect ourselves. So that could be by overeating, eating the wrong stuff, a bunch of junk food, like fast food every night or ordering pizza in every night. Isolating, that's a spiritual, physical, mental, well-being kind of thing. And um, sometimes people don't eat enough, they get malnourished. They lose a bunch of weight or they're just really weak and tired. And it, you get stuck in a perpetual cycle. So just be careful about how you are taking care of yourself. Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, definitely. Trust. Trust the process. Trust that the universe is bringing you exactly what you need. Even though things look a little bleak, um, there is good stuff happening. It is going to work out in your favor things are going to be fair and balanced. It's all gonna work itself out, so just trust. All right, so 
Let's get some vampire energy in here. See what the vampires have to say for Earth signs in October. Taurus. Someone to pop out. Her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. And it's number 10, which is the completion card. So think of 10 of swords, 10 of wands. Um, so that is about um, taking advantage of your time while you're still in, in the cycle. Taking that time to gain some knowledge, um, protect your assets, do the things that you need to do before your dark night comes in. Virgo. Woo. The call of the night, daring, adventure, and excitement. Hey, beautiful. Look at that wolf. Oh, I love wolves. So, uh, and kitty cats. Yes, Finn, and kitty cats, don't worry. My cat, for those of you who don't know. The call, <laughs> my familiar. The call of the night. So, um, dare to be adventurous. Take a step in a direction. Um, once you decide which way you're gonna go, it's, and it might be something that you don't normally, you wouldn't normally do. You can be very pragmatic, Earth sign. So, <laughs> Virgo, this could be something about um, doing something different than what you normally would have done. Normally I would have taken that path, but I think I'm gonna go this way because that didn't lead me where I wanted to be last time. So I'm gonna try going this way. Uh, Capricorn, outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer, number 22. So Capricorns, um, you guys tend to be leaders in your field, bosses, you tend to be very um, well-respected, you're very work-focused. So that might make you feel a little isolated socially. Um, whatever's going on, this could be making you feel like you're not totally sure how it's all gonna play out and how people are going to perceive you. So let that go <laughs> and just know that it's all, it's all gonna work out. Um, you're gonna end up back on top, you're gonna be totally fine here with this Six of Pentacles. Just take your time, decide what it is that you need to do so that everything's fair and balanced. Fight for what's worth fighting for, but let go of that which doesn't serve you anymore. All right, Earth Signs. That was interesting. <laughs> October is going to be an interesting month for you guys. So um, hopefully something in here helped you and resonated for you. But again, it's general. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I hope that there was some nugget of wisdom in here for you. And as always, my description, my description, uh-huh. My information is in the description box below. So feel free to contact me if you would like your own personal reading and see what's going on. Um, so I'm going to be doing extended readings for each individual zodiac sign through Vimeo. Um, so go ahead and check those out as they become available. So no obligation. This is still going to happen for you guys. I'm still doing the monthly and weekly messages, but I'm going to dive a little deeper in the extendants. Um, so hope to see you over there. Otherwise, have a great month, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care.